Hello everyone and welcome back to Riot Youth Academy. This is episode 3 and in this episode we will be playing our very first game as Newport County. First off though we must go through the first couple months and get some transfers in and send out some players. So let us begin. Looking on the transfer market I found these two players here. Ante Komarsic is a six foot one striker from Croatia. Looking at his stats, he has some pretty good physical attributes. I like it. And Cedric Matuti, he's from Cameroon, and he has some good physical stats as well for a striker. He's five foot eleven. I already approached Komarsic, but I'm going to approach Matuti now. Giving him four years, what he wants. And he can be a squad rotation player for now, and we'll see if he accepts that. Looking at our office, the Domestic Cup, they want us to reach the round of 32 stage. For the league objective, they want us to fight for promotion. And looking at our season's budget, we have 850000 for the transfer budget and 4100 for the wage budget. We needed to send out our scouts again, so we are sending Michael Bartley to Denmark, Craig McLaughlin to Northern Ireland, and Andy Lawley to England. Antti Kramarsic wants a larger role in the club, so we will give him an important first team player and see if he accepts on that. Transfer offer for Ismail Yakubu. We will let eh, Morkam want him. We'll try and get 100,000 off of Morkam. Matuti declined our contract offer. He wanted a larger role at the club, so we will give him an important, important first team. Marsic again wants a larger role in the club, so we will give him crucial first team and go for a five-year contract instead. Sampo Piranin wants a boost in his wage. He's going to be our mainstay right back for the time being, so we will go ahead and give that to him. Morkam countered back again, so we're going to just try and get the value off of Yakubu. Matuti declined our contract offer, so we're going to do the same thing as we did with the other guy. Piernan declined our contract offer, but I was giving him what he wanted. But he wants a larger squad role, so we will give him that. We'll go with a sporadic first team player. Here we are, Anti Kamarsik accepted our contract offer, so we will bring him into the club. Taking a quick look here at Kramarsic, he is a 64 overall striker. Very nice to see, very nice to see. Some fairly good stats. His physicals are really nice, 79 sprint speed, 78 acceleration, 72 agility. Our next signing, Matuti, he has accepted our contract offer, we will bring him into the club. Matuti has come to the club, 78 acceleration, 76 sprint speed. Striker, 3 star, 3 star, he's very nice. He will also be one of our starting strikers. We received a transfer offer for Ellis Redmond, he won't be playing at all. So we will accept that offer. Perry St. Germain offered us 575,000 pounds for Jason Stevens, our backup goalkeeper. So we are going to counter with 1,000. If they really want him, they will accept that and that will help us out a whole lot. Morkam our holding firm, so we will just let this man go. PSG offered us 950,500, or 50,000 I should say, shy of what we counter offered. So we will let him go for that. We already have a backup goaltender anyways, and this gives us a good bit of transfer budget. Sampo Piranin accepted our contract offer, and Yakubu was sent to Morkam. Here's our first scouting updates of the third season from England. The only thing is the highest at an 83. Northern Ireland gave us nothing. And Denmark gave us nothing. We received a transfer offer for Lee Haglund, but he is our number one goaltender, so we are not going to lose him. All right, here we are, game one of our career as Newport County. We are starting with Matuti and Kramarsic up top, Ramage, Russell, Brown, Smith in the midfield, Talevola, Brady, Jones, and Piernan in our defensive line, and Haglund in goal. I've been waiting to say this for a long time now. Come on, you exiles. Marsic's going to run with it. Run with it down the side. Keep going. Cross it in. The cross. Oh. 
to level up. Just tries an ambitious effort that was absolutely horrible. He tried to send through a cross, but it didn't work. Header lost. Brown recovers and sends it out of danger for now, but they get it again on the edge of the box. Russell makes a tackle. Somebody with the block there. I think that was Brown, actually. After the clear, he's getting his shirt pulled. He's trying to run with it. Holds up, holds up, holds up. Passes to Russell. Russell to Kramarsic. Kramarsic sends through... Who is this? Smith. Smith to Brown. There it is! Yes! And it's not a goal! It's not offsides! Oh, wow! I believe that was Russell with the goal. First goal for Newport County. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was Russell. What a passing play by the team. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Russell with the side foot strike. Just slots it into the bottom corner. They bring it to the mid. On the edge of the box. A strike saved by Hagland. Ooh, it was bumbling around in there, but we were able to get it out. It's cleared out. Matuti's going to pressure him. Matuti to Kramarsic. He dangles. Oh, and the sliding tackle comes in. Wow. And there it is, the final whistle. Our first win as Newport County's manager. A goal by Russell with after after a just gorgeous passing play. Give it shots were just we only had one shot on target. Low shots. Our player of the match was Sampo Pirinen. He played a 7.5, and he was he was definitely our man of the match. He controlled the whole game for us. He was everywhere. Harry Perkins wanted a boost in his wages, so we are going to give him a three-year deal for 750 pounds a week. Squad rotation player status. He came on as a substitute in our first win. Going with the same team that played last time, except Nowak and Perkins are starting in the midfield instead of Russell and Brown. Here we are beginning the Capital One Cup match against Portsmouth. Oh no. Jones. Haglin with the save. Keeping us in the game right now. It's here. Cross comes in. Oh, and the header. <sighs> Smith, I believe it was, got beat. And the header just comes into the bottom corner. Correction, that wasn't Smith. That was Brady. I don't even think I have a Smith. Smith comes in. He's going to send in a quick cross. The hitter does not meet anybody. Ramage sends in a cross to Matuti, and he can't get ahead on it. Perkins to Kramarsic. We have an injury. Somebody's injured. I think it's Matuti. Yeah, it is. Looks like a shoulder injury. That's not good. This might go down as a loss for us. Oh, Haglin with a save. And that is it. Our first loss of the campaign comes to Portsmouth. The bad, bad defensive error. And it just ends with us losing. Not fun. Not fun at all. Matuti has suffered a bruised shoulder and he'll be out for nine days. He'll miss about two games. That's not that bad. Here we are, game three of the season against Dagenham and Redbridge. We are starting a team with Zabrowski and Karamak. Marsic up top, Chapman, Russell, Brown, and Jeffers in the midfield. Brady, Freely, Hughes, and Jackson on the defensive line, and Hagland in goal. And here we are. Starting it off here with Russell. Gives it to Jackson for Marsic. Gonna try and beat the defender. He just might be able to get a step around him. Oh, he fakes the shot, puts it in, gives it to. Zabrowski, and he fires it off the post. Ah, man. Great passing play and a good good work on the side by Kramarsic. Led to a good chance for Zabrowski, but he fires it right off the woodwork. Jeffers coming back, pressuring. He wins the ball, and he takes it away. Good work to get it out of the corner. Zabrowski. Zabrowski sends a ball to Kramarsic. Kramarsic beats his man. 
Tries to kick it, but just couldn't get it. Brady's just going to run with it. He's just going to run with it. Oh, almost an own goal. Got a corner here. Put in the corner kick. I'm not wide. Oh, and the bicycle kick. No, it won't go. Good try by Brown. Keep going, Burn. He's going to send in a cross. Oh, corner kick. It was a bad strike by Hal. Pretty much in a useless position, but he still took it. Feely can't get the header off. But Brown comes in, takes a touch, tries to boot it long range, and it just doesn't work. Man, get... They have no pressure on him right now. The guys aren't fucking pressuring. Come on. Oh, no! A penalty? Are you kidding me? Oh, he pulled his jersey. Oh, come on. Come on, Haglin. You can do this, buddy. You got this. He's going to the left. No! Oh! How did he not make the save? Oh, wow. Penalty winner. Most likely for Dagenham and Redbridge. And that's the final whistle. We fall to Dagenham and Redbridge. Here we are, our final game of the episode against Accrington Stanley. And we are trying out a new formation here we're doing with the 4-4-2 uh, diamond formation. And see how that works out for us. All right, here we are. Come on, you exiles. Let's get a good three points here. We need it. To Smith. Smith can't get it out. Just beating me, man. Not looking good for me. Jackson is still running. Still running. Sends in a cross. Oh, Zabrowski couldn't get enough of a shot off. I think he fired it off a... Off the leg or something of a defender in front. Down on the wing. He's got to step on us. Man alone. They fired off the crossbar. Somebody has to clear it. We got to clear it. And Haglin with a save. Keeping us in the game right now. Fantastic play by Haglin. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, they missed the header. Now it beats his man, but gets taken down. But he's still going. Referee played the advantage. Now Wack. Now Wack still has it. Still has it. Sends in a chip. Oh, the header for Zabrowski, but it's saved. Ramage has the ball. He gives it to Kramarsic. Kramarsic again gets just put, shoved over, and no penalty. No foul is given. Come on. Oh my god. The shot goes off the crossbar. And it lands right at Haglin's feet. The amount of luck that was in that run of play there. Keep the ball. They're really going to give them a foul for that. Are you freaking kidding me? That's awesome. Smith drops it to Jackson with a cheeky little pass. Jackson's going to try and cross it in. Doesn't work. He still has it, though. Still has it, though. He gets taken down, and there's no penalty. No penalty for the takedown on Jackson. Unbelievable. Smith gives it to Smith. Smith takes a shot. It's off. But the header. I believe that was Kramarsic that just scored off the rebound. And it was. It was Kramarsic with his first goal for the club. Off the, re off the rebound, Smith, with a good chance, takes the kick. The rebound comes off, and Kramarsic, with a thunderous header, just puts it into the back of the net. 1-0 to Newport County. Come on, you exiles. Kramarsic to Jackson. Jackson. Over to Ramage. Ramage. There. Oh, and he fires it off the post. Nowak. We need all the defense we can get. Get it out. There we go. 
Jump over top, off oh, sides. Thank you. They throw it all the way back, almost to midfield. They send in a long ball, but it doesn't work. Zabrowski just clears it, sends it out all the way back to their goaltender, killing time off. And there it is. There's our second win. A 1-0 win over Accrington Stanley. That man there, Hagland, with a clean sheet. Anti Kramars. Oh, Lee Hagland gets man of the match with five saves. Fantastic game for Lee Hagland. All right, everybody. This is the end of episode three. We leave it off on a high with a 1-0 win over Accrington Stanley. I want to thank everybody for joining me here for episode three. Next time, we start off by playing Luttontown for another league game. Currently we sit in 7th position on the table uh, with 6 points from 3 games. So far a very good record for us. Hopefully we can keep the wins rolling. Everybody, thank you for joining me again. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe buttons to make sure you keep up to date with all the Riot Youth Academy that you can ever handle. Next episode should be coming out in the next few days. So make sure you join me for that. Thank you, everybody. Everybody have a good evening. And I will see everybody next time.